Hey there everyone, it's your Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you. I am back and we are going to be talking about uh, last night's game. Uh, last night it was the United States playing Mexico and it was the United States uh, defeat in Mexico. Uh, 3 nothing. this was in the CONACAF Nations League semifinals and um, all I could say people is this rivalry is dead. I mean, Mexico, to me, is not a threat to the United States anymore. I mean, they can't even compete with the United States anymore. I mean, social media last night, instead of Dorzadu, and I know my Spanish is not good, Tezadu, that's what it was last night, Tezadu, and... This game, um, it's just remarkable what the United States did to Mexico last night. I mean, pfft, one of the best results I have ever seen in this um, U.S.-Mexico soccer rivalry. I, I mean, the lineup was great. I mean, it was more of an attacking lineup and... It's something that Greg Ballhalter didn't give us. And I know the big news is that Greg Ballhalter is now coming back as a United States men's national team head coach. And I, I talked about that briefly last night on the, uh, the live stream. And by the way, shout out to anybody that was part of that live stream last night. Um, we had Flo up top with Rhea and Pulisic around him. Uh, we had Musa in the holding spot with uh, Gio and McKenny there. And this was your perfect lineup. And it paid off. Why? Because throughout the whole game, we were attacking. And everybody was looking comfortable the entire game because of the roles. And Captain America, Christian Pulisic, big game. Two goals. In the game, I thought he he could have had easily. I'm going to be honest with you, y'all. He could have had a hat trick in this game last night. Maybe four goals. Because Christian Pulisic, to me, is... He's the Mexican killer. That's what he is. He just comes out there and just beats Mexico. It's glorious. And then, you know, the celebration uh, with McKenny last night. Uh, let me just say this about McKenny, man. Uh, McKenny, he does get the red card, so he's not going to be playing uh, in the match against um, Canada. And, you know, he just acted like a Marcus Smart, a, a Jalen Brown last night. You know, just with that energy. And don't get me wrong. This was an ugly game because Mexico wanted to be aggressive. They had two players that got sent off. The ref made it into an ugly game, which, you know, they sent off two of our players. I talked about McKinney being one. But Des was another player that uh, got sent off. And all they were doing was they were protecting their teammates. Uh, the official in this game had zero control whatsoever. Um, and then all of a sudden, and I could go on a rant here. You give Christian Pulisic a yellow card. Because he's handing off his armband. That is fucking pathetic, people. I mean... I don't know what this guy was fucking doing. I mean, fucking UEFA officials can fucking manage this game better than fucking a CONACAF official. Honestly. And now that we don't have two of those guys to play against Canada. By the way, Canada, the best freaking team in CONACAF. That's what they are. I mean, look at it. They won freaking... The, the World Cup qualifying. They became the best team in the qualifiers. You got a couple of players 
that play in Portugal for Team Canada. And Portuguese domestic clubs I'm talking about. But no matter how much Mexico wanted to make this a fight, they still got defeated. And then it was Pepe. Pepe was the guy that got the third goal for the United States. If you want to know who it was. I, I, I mean, I don't give a fuck about Mexico. I mean, I want them to suck. Because they are a rival in the sense of these teams hating each other. And that's why I chair for the United States of America. And now the new rivalry to me is Canada. You know, we see it in hockey. United States and Canada. Canada has what? They've beaten us. We've beaten them in hockey. They've beaten us in soccer now. So it's going to be a very interesting game Sunday night at Alicia Stadium. I, and, and despite the fact that Greg Ballhalter's coming back, this team still has talent. We have talent up top. We got a talented midfield. Freaking Matt Turner is a goddamn fucking good goalkeeper. Chris Richards looked awesome in center back. I mean, I'm not saying that we're going to win the World Cup in 2026. I'm saying right now that this team, right now, this golden generation of the United States soccer is talented. And they showed us that last night. Because now it's Tezado. That's the new standard now. That's the new freaking battle cry when it comes to Mexico. And as far as Mexico goes, they got to win the Gold Cup now. Because if you don't win the Gold Cup, you got a soccer crisis going into the Copa America now. I talked about it last night on the live stream. In the next Nations League, it's going to be United States in, in order. Canada, United States, Costa Rica, and Mexico. They've already advanced to the quarterfinals because they are the top four teams right now in CONACAF. So they do have a better shot at making the Copa America next summer. But man, uh, with Ballhalter, you never know. If Ballhalter fucks this shit up, man, um, we might be looking for a new head coach going into the 2026 FIFA World Cup. But right now, it's, you know, in Greg Ballhalter, we trust. I don't like the move. I know there was moves out there for Jesse Marsh, um, Patrick Vieira. Uh, Jose Marino was another name that was in contention for that job, but here's the thing: they're not gonna uh, they're not gonna sign those guys. Why? Because they're gonna ask 15 mil, 18 mil a year. United States is not gonna give them that type of money. Uh, United States Soccer Federation. Maybe Mexico will. Maybe Mexico will go for uh, a Jesse Bosch or. Um, a Patrick Vieira. They might even go for a Pep Guardiola. When Pep Guardiola um, is done managing Manchester City. He's already talked about the 2024-2025 season being the last year. Um, him becoming a domestic manager. Because he wants to move into the international spotlight. So we'll see what Mexico does uh, in the Gold Cup. Uh, I'm going to be following that tournament as well. So, um, let me all know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, great win for the United States last night. That game with Canada is going to be tough. It's going to be a knockdown drag out. My concern is we don't have McKenney and Des in the start of the lineup. And, um, what coaching changes are going to be made. We'll have to wait and see, people. Till then, I'm out. Peace and go. Team USA. Bye for now, friends.